Welcome to this new episode where we finally diagnose the air conditioning compressor of this 2017 Hyundai Ioniq Hybrid. The compressor, as I mentioned in the previous video, it was working properly. It didn't have any problems as we realized in the scroll piston and the scroll, what we call the cylinder or the cabin, okay? We don't have absolutely no, no kind of scratch, no metal debris, which is actually pretty good. Now, we finally end finding out that the problem was the central barrier, which unfortunately is a very, very common issue, very similar to the Nissan e-powered cars. Let me just confirm. So if you guys can hear the uh, bearing, well, of course, this bearing gives a lot of uh, current, uh, makes, makes the comp compressor consume a little more current. But the real problem in this one is that it was making this horrible, uh, like, humming noise. Now, in this episode, I want to show you, once we replace, once we take this to machine shop, replace this bearing, because as you can see, well, this one uses, unfortunately, a Chinese bearing. But then how is the procedure to assemble back the air conditioning compressor? That is exactly what I want to show you. Now, before doing that, it is obviously that one of the things that should be done in an air conditioning electric motor is check out a stator winding. Let's see, make sure any of the windings have some sort of any marks of burn. And then of course, with the use of a multimeter, obviously you can always use an isolation tester, but because I know that this one is not giving me any trouble, I still want to do an isolation leak test, which is nothing more, nothing less than a continuity test between face and chassis ground, which is supposed to be obviously open line, which means absolutely zero connection. Now, in this case, we know it's perfect. Now, knowing this, how do we assemble back the compressor? How do I know the position of this scroll? How does it go in any random uh, position? The answer is no. So that is exactly what I want to show you in this, in this tutorial. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like our videos, that's the only way that you can help us create way much more amazing educational videos about hybrid electric vehicles. So without wasting any time, let's begin to assemble. So we're going to begin with the stator winding. The stator winding is actually the winds that receive every single of the signal of the pulse width modulation controller, okay? Which is this, this is the controller. Okay, I will show you this in a, a little bit later. But the first component that we're going to assemble in is of course the rotor Obviously, this only goes in one single position, but just in case, just in case, if you're not familiar with this system, what the only thing that I could recommend is mark it as, for example, something that I did. I just mark it in the right position. Now, this is actually very strong. We could see that the bearing inside is in perfect condition. Now, let me place this in the correct position. Make sure that the gasket is perfectly, perfectly clean, absolutely no marks. Here we go inside, there you go. Yeah, it's gonna make some mechanical force. <laughs> That's how it is. Now with a little, with a little careful here, we're placing, there you go. That's it. So she finally closed. Let me just clean a little bit the surface. It is obvious that if you are an air conditioning technician, you have to be aware that every single of this component, it's properly lubricated, okay? Now let's talk about one of the most important components where actually the compression happened, which is right here in the scroll. Now, what I really wanna show you is, does this scroll goes in a, every random position or it goes in one particular position? Well, the answer is it only goes in one single position and that is exactly what I want to show you <laughs> in this part. Now, the first thing is, um, we have to place in here the counterweight because the scroll piston, it moves in an eccentric rotation, okay? That creates a lot of vibration. And of course that needs a compensation of the weight, which is exact, exactly what this, oops, sorry, with this counterweight does, which only goes in one single position. Let me place it here. There you go, that's it. And this is the movement that allows the eccentric rotation. And what keeps this scroll in place. Well, all this bunch of rings in this little cabins, okay, there are guided by these six individual guides. But as I, as I mentioned before, 
Now we're going to place the bearing, okay, or the piston bearing that we already know that it's in perfect condition. Now before placing the piston, this piston doesn't actually slice directly on the on the surface of the AC compressor. It actually goes on this plate. That only goes in one single position, considering this proper, proper, probably lubrication guide that goes right here. Just make sure it's properly clean and properly lubricated, right? So yes, this is exactly where the piston slides. There you go, in this surface. And of course, the main gasket that only goes in one single position. Just take these two marks and that should be it. Now, what seals this surface is this actually, um, we could call it like a Teflon ring, a Teflon ring that goes right here. And it has a, it has a rubber ring as well. Actually, it also uses two. So this ring over here will be kind of spongy. So when she goes over here, it's completely sealing, all right? I suppose this is for lubrication purposes. That's what I, that's what I believe so. Now, before we continue, let's go now to the guide. What is the position of the scroll? Well, let's say that, what are the position that this actually really matches? Well, it could go here, it could go here. So we're talking about almost, <gasps> about more than 90 degree, yeah? About 120 degree difference, ooh, that's kind of a lot, right? So your guide is going to be, take this, okay? I'm not sure if you can see at the very end of the scroll, okay? The end of the scroll does not go in the end of the scroll of this one. Goes actually 180 degree, or almost close to 180 degree of the end of the surface scroll, which means that the end of this goes right here. Let me show you. Let me see if you guys can appreciate from this side. How come is this? Because the end of the scroll is the beginning of the cabin where she's going to begin to slide and push all the air to the very center. Telling me clearly that the position has to be, can you see right here? Almost 180, close to 180 degree. Close, not so much. Obviously, she will match with no problem. I'm going to do like a compression test. I should hear. There you go. That's exactly what I want. Now, as I said, you can place it in this position or in this position. How do I know that? Well, this is the right position at the very end. Okay. Can you see the circle line? I'm not sure if you guys can see the circle line over here. This is the position. So this is your guy. Be very careful with this. Now I'm gonna place this in a second. How do I place it now inside? Well, we understand our guide that we already have, right? Okay, let me take off this. I also have my guide right here, which means that this goes in this single position, but I'm not gonna place this, just all of this together, no. I'm gonna mark the position. I'm gonna place it on the proper position, okay? And placing it on the proper position, I know this center guide is the one that goes, this one is the one that goes this into this one. Let me place it. Oh, oh, sorry. It could be a little confusing, but it's actually not. Just, just, just use your guide with the very end of the scroll. So let me place it in position. Second. There you go, that's it. She's in. Now let me show you the movement. This is the movement. Eccentric rotation. All right, now that she's in, it's time to place the main scroll cylinder, how you wanna call it, probably. And she's supposed to match with, there we go, no problem, that's it. If she doesn't match in its proper position, believe me, this is not going in anyway. Now, before we continue, we have to place now the exhaust valve. Remember that the scroll piston, it pushes all the air from the sides to the very middle, and this is the output and the uh, like a middle pressure output as well. 
So these are the flapper valves. It actually uses three in one that goes in one single position like this. There's no guide. There's no nothing. You have to put this. <laughs> Leave me a second. Yeah, I can't believe this goes like this, but that's how it is. We a second. All right. Let me show you. So I'm just going to. All right. Let me just tie this up first. And then we will, we will we will center it. That's it. There you go. Center. Center. That's it. This is how it is, you know. I'm not sure if you guys are impressed, but I am very impressed that this is so delicate. All right. I'm go I'm going to. There you go. That's it. Pistons are in its position. So now we can continue to place the uh, gasket, which is the gasket of the final cover. Something that I need to consider that it's a, actually a very good guide for you is that you know the compressor is in good condition when you don't find in the high pressure exhaust side, okay, contamination, metal debris, especially right here in this net, which is actually a very good sign Okay, once the O-ring is properly lubricated, she only goes in one single position. You see? There you go. I'm also using my mark. It goes right here. And she should match. There, that's it. There you go. Now we can place the bolts in. And place the bolts in. That should be it. Guys. We have a campaign. We reach a 50,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. What are you waiting for to support us? Because, yeah, I would love to get to 100,000 now. <laughs> so, like and subscribe. Go ahead. Now, let me tie this up. Second one. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And the last one. So we could say we have the unit assembled. Now we need to place back the motor controller. What is the motor controller? This is a small inverter. It takes DC positive and negative from the high voltage battery. Okay, it has this relay or high voltage contact that opens or closes the circuit when you're sending power to this a board controller. So this only turns DC into a pulse width modulation or simulated AC, okay, into a three phase, okay, individual phases in order to have a variable speed electric motor. Now, how do we cool down this? Well, this originally comes with thermal paste. Obviously, I remove it, but otherwise we're going to be sticky as hell. But once you place in this back, you have to uh, put back the uh, lots of quantity of thermal paste because right behind this, you have all this bunch of uh, transistor MOSFET with, or a high power transistor. Those are the ones that do, that do the job uh, turning this into a PWM. Okay, now we're going to place the gasket. But as I said, it only goes in one position. I'm going to place the inverter. It only goes like this, you know. One single position. Let's see me a second. I'm going to do this very carefully. Because this one, this one doesn't have any guide, so let's see. There you go. So the connection is by pressure. That's how it is. All right. That's it. We can put now the final external cover that also goes in one single position. When you place it in. Okay. One, two, three. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want the gasket to move. I want the gasket to move. Hold on, hold on. Right. Okay, almost done. We're almost done.
Now this procedure applies very much to every single air conditioning compressor of a hybrid and electric car. They're actually all the very same. They're all scroll type compressor with a central electric motor uh, right in this location. So it shouldn't be uh, such a big challenge. Uh, what I really wanted to show you guys in this video is just basically the, well, the step-by-step -step guide, but the, the exact position of the scroll, because that could be probably a little confused. So if you want to learn more, stick around for more tapes. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Please don't forget to subscribe.